Okay, here's what you need to know about LabB. So LabB, you need to know the following things. First of all, you need to know that you're adding a period squared column to your length table. So on your lab A, find your length table, add a period squared column. Okay, we talked about this last time, but it's worth reiterating. So you're just going to square your periods and add a period squared column. The other thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make sure your length is in meters and not centimeters. So I went over to my length one. It was in centimeters, so I turned it into meters. I divided by 100. Turn the length into meters. On all of it? Uh, just for the length table. Just for the length table. Okay. So once you've done that, just some reminders about how to do graphs. You're going to go into Desmos. So here's the um, desmos.com backslash calculator. Okay. You're going to go into Desmos. You're going to plot period squared on the y axis length of the pendulum on the x-axis, make sure length is measured in meters, and then you're going to use the expression y1 uh, tilde m1 x1 plus b1. So when you go into Desmos, you're going to put length in the x column, you're going to put period squared in the y column, and then you're going to use your y1 tilde m1 x1 plus b1 equation, and you're going to plot your graph. And your graph is going to look something like this. Something like this. Okay? Once you've gotten that graph, down here in the parameters, you'll see there's an M value and a B value. You don't need to worry about the B value, although it should be pretty small and close to zero. Mine's negative 0 0.0079. Um, and then you should have a value for M1. And your value for M1, you're going to write down here in number 9. Okay. So then you'll have your graph done and you'll have your slope found. When your graph is finished, go into Schoology, go to today's folder, go to the bottom, Lab 1 Graph Submission. Submit your graph. Once you've got your graph done, submit it so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Only the one. Only the one for this lab. So the lab B, the one I was just talking about. So... Nope. So this one, this period squared one. Yeah, the period squared length one. Okay? So once you've submitted the graph, you're ready for the back page. For the back page, you're going to solve this equation. So you're going to plug in your value for m where it says slope, because that's what m is. m is the slope. So you're going to plug that value in. So my value was 4.02. You're going to plug in whatever yours is. Okay? Then you're going to plug in and solve for G. Solve for G. So you're saying to yourself, but Mr. B, G is 9.8. Yeah, I know G is 9.8. I want you to prove that to me. Show me that your lab gave you the same value. So solve for G and see what you get. Once you've done that, then you're going to go down here to 11, and you're going to solve for your percent error. Your expected is 9.8, your measured is what you got in 10, and then solve for your percent error. And then lastly, the conclusion, you're going to talk about your percent error. Did it show, like, did your lab show good accuracy? you should get a value of gravity that's very close to 9.8. Did you get one? Did you get a value for gravity that was very close to 9.8? Okay. If you did, then you'll get a, a percent error that's small. If you didn't, you'll get a percent error that's large. And you can talk about what errors may have led to you getting that. Okay. So that's what I want you to finish up here.
today is working on lab B. If you are done with lab B, you go ahead and turn that sucker in. Submit the graph online, turn in the paper. You don't need to turn in lab A. Lab A you keep, I've checked it already. Okay? But you can start uh, finishing up lab B and getting lab B taken care of and finished up. Okay? Does anyone have any questions about lab B?